In preparation for um, learning how to balance the reactions, I wanted to go over a couple of examples with you and just kind of walk through the steps you should follow uh, when you're trying to balance a chemical equation. So I'm going to do a couple of these right here. And so, um, let's see, I'm going to do it in bright red so you can see it a little bit better. So uh, let's, let's just go to uh, number 11. And the first thing you do is you go to the one that looks the most complex and put a 1 or a 2. So I'm going to put a 1 right there. And then that gives me 1 magnesium and 2 chlorine. So I'm going to go to this side. I'm going to put a 2 there. And that gives me 2 chlorines and 2 hydrogens. Now you don't really want to balance the hydrogens and the oxygens till the end. So let's go back and balance the magnesium. So um, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put a 1 there. Okay, so now all of the left side is balanced. So let's make sure it equals the right side. So 2 times 1 hydrogen means I need 2 hydrogens on this side. I've got my 2 chlorines. And so if you want to check it, what you do is you just um, keep track of them. And I'm going to do that up above here. So on this side, I have 1, I have an Mg, I have 2 hydrogens, and I have 2 Cl's. Now I'm going to check the other side. On this side, I have 1 Mg. I have two chlorines and I have two hydrogens. So it looks like I'm completely balanced. And you just go back and forth till everything is balanced. Let's try another one. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll do it another color just for fun. Let's do purple. All right. So let's go to combustion reaction, which on the test you wouldn't, you would, um, and then we'll draw it. So um, the quick trick is, is if you look at the carbon in a high, in a in the reaction if it's an odd number try a one so I've got one carbon so I'm going to put one carbon there I've got oxygen everywhere so I'm going to leave that I've got four hydrogens so to get four hydrogens I would need a two now I need to balance my oxygens there's two oxygens right here and there's two more here for a total of four so I'm going to need a two there and that gives me one, two, one, two. And that appears to be balanced, but let's uh, make sure it, it is. So I'm going to um, do a drawing of it. Okay, so here's my carbon. And on my carbon, I've got four hydrogens. Now I know they're not, all the atoms are not the same size, but for ease of drawing it, I'm going to make them all the same size. And then on this side, it says I have a carbon dioxide. So I'm going to just put my carbon over there. And then I'm going to draw my oxygen over here. I need to draw two oxygen molecules. I'm going to make the oxygen red. So the oxygen is red. So O2 is red, and that's how you know what it is. And then on this side, I need to make my CO2 when I have uh, one of those. And then I need to make two water molecules. And the hydrogen I made blue, so I'm going to go back to the blue. I'm going to put two blues there and two blues there. And now I need to make sure that I have everything. So if you check, look and see, is there four oxygens on this side in red and four on this side? Then I should have... Um, so I have four oxygens on this side and four oxygens on that side. I have four hydrogens on this side and four hydrogens on this side. And I have one carbon on this side and I have one carbon on this side. So therefore, this is balanced. And you just, that's basically all you have to do. And uh, let's do um, one that might look a little harder. So um, we'll, uh, we'll do this one down here. So go to the one that you think looks the hardest and put a one or a two. So I'm going to do this in a different color. Let's see, I feel green is a good color. So I'm gonna put a one here, and that gives me uh, two sulfurs, no, one sulfur. So I'm gonna go over here and put a sulfur. And then now I'm gonna come back to the other side and balance my uh, zinc. So I'm gonna put a one there. That gives me two chlorines. So if I need two chlorines, I better put a two here. And that gives me two nitrogens, and I have two nitrogens on this side. Right here, I'm double-checking that. And then 1 times 4, so I have a 4 times 2 is 8, 
and 2 times 4 is 8, so my hydrogen is also balanced. So now I've balanced my hydrogen, my nitrogen, my chlorine, my zinc, and my sulfur on that side and on this side. Sometimes putting a dot by it as you balance it is helpful. So that looks like those are, are all balanced and we can, um, we can um, move on. All right, so that's how you would balance a chemical equation. And um, All right, so if you have any more questions, uh, you can come see me at lunch or after school, but that's basically the process, and sometimes they get more difficult, but, you know, it's really the same thing. Go to the one that looks the most complex, and then just go left and right until everybody is balanced. And if you need to, keep track of them, either by using dots or by writing out the amount on each side like we did in the previous two examples.